Getting more content. Your guide to fast and effective content curation. Another option for speeding up content creation and still providing value is to use content curation. The essential idea behind content curation is simple. You're making blog posts and pages that are entirely comprised of other content you have found around the web. You can then recombine this content in order to create something new, along with adding your own commentary and context to make the post more interesting and to add your own value. But how do you go about doing this? And how can you make it a quick process without risking making your post less interesting or useful for your readers? The objective. The first thing to do is to understand the objective of good content curation. Your aim here is to create a blog post that provides several times the value of a conventional blog post because it combines the best parts of many posts into a single resource. This makes it very important that you carefully consider the type of content you are sharing. This should be content that is meaty and interesting, and you need to ensure that you have something interesting and useful to say about it. It is not enough to simply post a selection of copy-pasted snippets from other sites at random. Remember, duplicate content won't rank highly in Google. This is not our objective here, though. Our objective is to provide something useful for our visitors and to keep them coming back. Some tips. In theory, content curation can save you time by allowing you to create content by reusing content that others have already made. Theoretically, this then means that you can save time because you don't need to write all the content yourself. But the problem is that you need to head out and find all that content. It needs to be interesting and high-quality content, meaning you'll need to sift through the unsuitable stuff. And you then need to be able to add some kind of interesting commentary and tie it all together. When you consider all these jobs, it becomes apparent that this can actually end up taking a long time. A solution, then, is to try hiring someone to collect the content for you, so that you can put it together and then add the commentary. Consider using a VAS, Virtual Assistant Service, many of which will charge less than $1 per hour. Another tip is to make the most of the fact that you are borrowing content. Get in touch with the original owners of that content, and they may be able to help you promote the page as a way of saying thanks, and they might even link to you. This can also prevent potential copyright issues. Follow these tips, and remember to offer value in all your posts, and content curation can be a great way to save time and get more done.